Greetings, YouTube. Kudis here, and let's continue World War II as Hungary World trying to undo Trianon violently. Let's continue marching towards the Soviet victory points. And hopefully, we will get them, and by we, I mean Germany, because our no manpower troops clearly not going to cut it in the long term. That's just not going to happen. I think we are cons consistently now pushing them even more. Why do we still have uh, 18 divisions? That doesn't make sense. Oh, we're touching Iran as well. Nice, yeah, now this is just like... We're just killing the south now. This is dead. It's like cutting off a dead limb. We have successfully killed off that half of the Soviet, and by half I mean small chunk. But, dead Soviets are dead Soviets, right? And now I think also if I don't leave marching battle orders, then I can stay behind in defense, use all of my resources. I cannot select the national focus. I wish I could, but I cannot. Because I do not have any left to unlock. Hashtag sad face. Oh, Astrakhan. It's finally ours. Why not? Not that I was really after it. I didn't know I was after it until now, and now it's ours. We're so close to Leningrad, but there's a stupid river, so we probably aren't going to be able to take Leningrad. That's a really defensible position. Eh, uh, unfortunate. Moscow is much easier to take, though. Once we take that, that's going to be very beneficial for us. Uh, if only I could find the random guy. I should have a random guy that's isolated somewhere. Where? I should have a random guy somewhere that's been left behind. Um... Still killing these guys. It's beautiful. How much? How many divisions the Soviets have? Still 342 to 600. It's terrifying. But his losses now total up 5.51 million. So he's losing so many men. Missing only rubber, not steel, which is great. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the guy. You know the guy... Uh, if you're tuning in, you have no idea what I'm talking about. There was one guy I was using to do, like, solo operations. And I've lost him. And by lost, I mean I can't find him. I can only find dudes that are already part of my divisions. I don't know where I sent him to do things. Didn't I send him close to Voronezh? I think. I don't know anymore. Isn't that Voronezh? Yeah, there it is. Excavation 5. Nope, I did not send him here. Clearly. The front is still moving forward. It's technology to research. Um, don't care about anti-tanks. Already researching armor. Can't get the support battalions yet. Uh, I could get mechanized too. Not that I care too much. Paratrooper 3. This is done. A lot of these tech threes are done by now. Air Doctrine, I'm already researching. Hmm. Landing craft? Sure, let's invade with more people. With our, like, stockpile of convoys. Am I still stockpiling convoys? Yeah, I'm trying to stop Balcon boys. Why not? Okay, now we're uh, going to start to wrap this front up. Where's Stalingrad? It's Voronezh. Oh, there's Stalingrad. We're already sieging it. Nice! Already, I mean, we're finally sieging it. And that said, I wish we'd be sieging Moscow first, but no, we're not. Not yet. So Stalingrad will go first. 
as a victory point. This will be a major victory for us, and a major blow to the Soviets. It's so beautiful. This is part of the Soviet. This is also part of the Soviet. If I wanted, I could an actually annex Soviet lands. But that goes against the spirit of what I initially set out to do. So when the Soviet war ends, the fall of Stalingrad, a significant development. Soviets are now 51% towards capitulation. We're approaching Moscow very, very fast at this point. Um, yeah, once the Soviet falls, it's going to be like... Just a joke to take out Xinjiang and Mongolia. The real threat will be the British Raj. Which just happens to be right next to all of this. We just need the Soviets to capitulate at this point. Now the real question is, will Moscow or Leningrad fall first? This front is huge. This front is ridiculously huge. Improved infantry equipment. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Uh, mechanized to at this point is starting to feel like the more uh, sensible decision. Um... Fighter 3. Jet engines. Fighter 3 at 50% seems good. Let's go with it. Let's go with that! Okay. So Stalingrad has fallen. Okay, the. the I thought it was going to fall right back, but no, the Soviets are still being pushed back. Pretty solidly. Ooh, more uh, free military factories. I like that. Uh, do we build more artilleries? I need to build more artilleries. Hmm. Yeah, at this point, artilleries are far more important, and infantry equipment is uh, actually going to be a dwindling need as we catch up to that uh, huge deficit, of course. Um. Where do we stand on our United States coup? I expect Texas will die, but 156.5. I expect Texas to die really swiftly, but at the same time, if Mexico can join us at around the same time, and there is a chance are you fascist? You're really not fascist. Unfortunate Cuba. But yeah, and then we can maybe like try to create a new front here where uh, Mexico and Texas will invade home ground for the United States and Canada. That might be a worthwhile effort. How is Italy still holding on in Africa? It doesn't make sense. Seems these guys are trying to fight back for the existence of Turkey. This is properly falling, which is nice. War is going pretty well. The front is still collapsing in the general direction of Moscow. It's worth 50 victory points. Uh, and if the patches I've read are correct, Chances are, because the Poland War is not finished yet. Uh, that's not really the memo. But yeah, since the Poland War isn't finished yet, it's actually very likely that Germany will actually not annex Soviet land. Because they don't have a direct path through it. Like, out of their owned territories. Like, owned and court and everything. But... Uh, that would be unfortunate, but if it happens, maybe I'll just puppet the Soviet Union. Or I'll enforce fascism on them and have them join our other wars. Whichever, you know, maybe both. Why not both? Well, it depends on what we can do with the victory points. We'll have to get to a peace deal for that, and for that, Moscow needs to fall. Probably as does Leningrad, which we're now actually bordering. Aren't we just sending a guy to Leningrad right now? I have a guy. Hey guy, go there. The 
fall of Baku. Uh, Soviet Union, I don't know where the hell Baku is, but apparently it's significant, so I'll take it. Oh, you're not marching fast enough, guy. Uh, we're not paused, so that's not your problem. We have another factory that is ours. I need to build more artilleries, clearly. Okay. Come on, you have one job. Go take the victory point. Go take the victory point. Oh no! There's Soviet people that showed up. No! The effort. Oh well. Uh, too low to advance. Whatever. Just, just be what you want to be. I will allow it. Okay. Do I have board troops anywhere? Um, we still haven't finished this part. Um, I want to say the second division, whatever it is doing right now, will stop what it's doing and will come liberate Turkey, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. I think I really want the Soviets to fall properly before I do that. So yeah, let's make the Soviets fall properly. And the Soviets are defending Leningrad for dear life. As you would expect. Um, okay. Stalingrad's still in our hands as it should be, but there's a stupid river making the front annoying. Um... So close to Moscow. We're also so close to Leningrad. Uh. Hmm. Man, so many resources in Sweden. Yeah, northern Sweden, Lapland is such a rich chunk of provinces. I think I'd want to invade Sweden. When, when I feel like we're not overwhelmed, maybe I'll look for other things to just go straight up kill. For the benefit of finishing off the United States faster. Anything that'll help Germany become stronger. Essentially, that's the that, that's essentially it. We'll start wars to feed Germany. Like, if this was a League of Legends match, our goal would be, like... To support the German Reich into becoming the proper World War II carry. That is what, well, this is just really what we've been doing this whole time, so we'll just keep doing that. It's a fantastic idea. Oh, the front around Stalingrad is, is intensifying, and this is like desert at this point. But Moscow is still not falling. I'm still not making Moscow fall. Oh, 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 are we gonna surround Leningrad? Are we surrounding Leningrad? Is it really happening? I hope it is. No, it's not. Aw. Oh. It did not happen. I meant Romania, you had one job. You had one job, Romania. Oh well. Oh hey, more research. Yes, more research. Modern tank? Can't research it yet. Don't care about artilleries. Land doctrines already full. Air doctrines already being researched. Let's go with naval doctrines for. Uh, more battleships, trade interdiction. Sure, or. Carry. Whatever. Because I know there's an achievement for maxing out all three Doctrine 3, so we're going to try to do that. I think that's a fantastic objective. Because clearly the war is taking a long time. I don't know how people managed to destroy the Soviets in, like, a few years. Like, I've seen some, like, Germany World Conquest races, and they're like, Yeah, I can conquer the world by, like, 1941, and I'm like, Dude, what?! And then there's other crazy people who conquer the world with the most esoteric nations, and I'm like, how do you guys do that? I'm still definitely not good enough to attempt anything remotely resembling these things. 
But I'm learning, and hopefully by extension, you guys, if you started watching this to learn a bit about horror, like Hoi 4, hopefully you've learned some things too as I'm learning them. That's ultimately my biggest hope. That it was informative and entertaining. Hey, Fighter 3, why not? More research. Uh, jet Fighter, I can't get the jet engines right now. Bummer, I don't care. Can I go research the jet engines? Well, we're still researching the rocket engines, so no, we cannot. Boats? Since we're doing trade interdiction, let's research submarines. Yeah, let's build trade boaties. The best kind of trade boaties. The kind that sinks the other guy's trade boaties to the bottom of the ocean. We're so close to Moscow. Ah, I can almost taste Moscow. Oh, and we've actually finally properly surrounded Leningrad. Not fully. Let's send you here. And then let's have you attack the victory point. Probably won't succeed. But that's the dream. The dream is Leningrad. If we can take Leningrad, rest should fall naturally. We're so close to Moscow. We have wedges everywhere because we're punching through his lines. Beautiful. Beautiful. What can I do now? Production for a second. This is looking mighty fine. This number is going down. Beautiful. How close are we to our uh, goal of an independent Texas? Uh, we are about 20, a little less than 20 political power away. I believe I can't stage more coups in the, no. Because you're already in a civil war. Because I've already staged a coup in like some random far off thing because I was trying to have you not intervene. Hey Nepal, wanna get annexed? I'm sure you want to, you know, like become fascist and get annexed by us, right? Tibet, how about Tibet? Sure, Tibet would like to be a uh, fascist as well. Actually, I think I want to turn this guy fascist. Like, can I stage a coup to make you fascist? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, let's make it happen. Why? Because Bhutan has the funniest names when he's either communist or uh, or fascist. So we're gonna create a fascist Bhutan. And it's gonna be hilarious. It's not gonna cost us much equipment, so it's not too bad. I do not regret this decision. Meanwhile, the Soviet front is moving nicely. A significant development, the fall of Leningrad. So ultimately, Leningrad and Stalingrad fell before Moscow. Ah. How much does Soviet want to be in war? Now he's down to... 41% uh, desire for war. Let's keep uh, researching planes. Yeah. We are currently researching all sorts of garbage. Because we don't really care right now. Um. Whoa, 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 what the hell just happened? What the hell is this line? This is completely disgusting and unacceptable. Fortunately, it's being killed. Okay, it's being killed. But that is gross. That is so gross. Well, Germany has uh, decided that Azerbaijan was uh, properly German soil. Suit yourself. But we're helping Turkey exist again, which is great. Um, let's see now. The front is just so long. We're almost at Moscow, but it's not quite here. There's a hole here. Oh. 
go this way. There's no one. And then we'll border Moscow. AI seems to capitulate. Uh, understood that that's what we were trying to do. They're all like, quick, border Moscow! I know, hey, they're... Uh, Pushing back a little. Nice! Now we're touching Moscow. Can I actually invade Moscow? No, but we're gonna try anyway. Because now once Moscow falls... I think the Soviets will capitulate at this point. They've lost every single major victory city. That disgusting Yugoslavia snake is getting killed. Whatever spawned it is just dying. I think, I hope. Damn it, New Zealand. There's so much garbage. I need to come address this invasion. Rocket engines. Sure. Uh, improved rocket engines or jet engines or the nuclear bombs. No, I need the reactor first. Let's get our guy researching reactors. This is gonna take a full year. That's right, Hungary begins researching nuclear explosions. Closer to Moscow. We're pushing really hard into it. Okay, there are troops that are being sent to address this disgusting Yugoslav snake. Which is good. Um don't need to do anything. I'm going to keep focusing on the Soviet front. And I actually hope that this all just dies. Without it needing my involvement. Because right now I can't be bothered too much. But I like that we're pushing into Turkey. Is Turkey creating... Uh, I don't know if Turkey is spawning new uh, dudes there. I hope they are, but they might not. Uh, so close to Moscow. I am the only one holding that line, so I'm not gonna move anywhere. I'm just gonna let these guys, like, kill the wedges and then increase the pressure on Moscow until we take it. Submarine 1. Uh, I'm gonna forget the boats for now. I want to keep researching engineering stuff. I want all these technologies. Finland want to turn fascist? Maybe. Maybe I can turn Finland fascist. Maybe I should have done that a long time ago. Heck, maybe I can turn Sweden fascist. Sweden's not at war with, uh, against us. If we can turn both of them fascist, that's going to make our lives a lot easier. Hmm. Okay. War is looking mighty fine right now. Something just happened. I have succeeded my coup. And the free American Empire declared war on the United States. Yeah, that's right. Holy crap, that's bigger than I expected. Oh. Good luck, guys. They have joined the Axis, so now we know what they're doing. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> This is beautiful, if... We call them as an ally in the German-Soviet war. I don't expect that to matter much, because I expect them to get crushed, but... Well, it might not happen instantly. I don't know what they're doing. Ah, uh, Still, oh, they're fighting. They're fighting stuff. They're ready to fight the rest of America. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Hungarian spies, good job. Good job. Okay. There's justification of war goals against us or allies. Oh, Mexico is justifying war goals against Texas. Unsurprising. But, uh... Come on, kill these guys. Yeah, you killed them. Every American killed is an American we don't have to deal with over here. 
And currently, I actually believe that most of America is busy not being in America. So this might help buy us some time. Moscow is currently under heavy siege. But we're not yet in a position that uh, we can claim victory. Um, call to arms. I will accept. I will help you in your great cause. Ah, beautiful. Silver Legion of America, William Dudley Pelly. Come on, show your empire. Your free American empire. How you bring freedom to America. Ah, beautiful. It's even bigger than I expected. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we, we've almost surrounded Moscow now, but there's so many people. Russia refuses to give up, even though they're... Uh... Uh, the Swiss Imperial Confederate has been called as our ally. Yeah! I have succeeded there, too. Beautiful. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Excellent. Now, if you look at... Uh... Where's the map mode for uh, factions? Factions. Axis! Yeah! Now what I want to know is, is democracy actually going up naturally in your country? Do I need to keep supporting you? I'm gonna keep it because I don't want you to flip back to democracy. I like that we've managed to convince Switzerland to join us, as it should be. Ah, oh, damn it, I've lost a lot of territory, which means I've lost some factories. Come on, Moscow, fall! We're so close! We are so close. Moscow is now a salient. That should fall relatively easily, you would think. If I can get the Soviets to capitulate. Somehow, Iran has not died. I am really impressed with Iran right now. They're fighting a really tough war. They're in a really terrible position. But they haven't died yet, and we've actually managed to link up with them. So here's hoping that once we deal with the Soviets properly, we can go get rid of the British Raj and then break China from behind and all of that. Iran shall be our corridor to allow this. Uh, we need to keep liberating Turkey. Uh, Moscow might fall. We are winning a war, a battle. Nope, now we're not. Beautiful. Still. Invade Moscow. Conquer it. Conquer Moscow! Ah. I feel it. How much am I generating? Stage coup against Bhutan. Uh, boosting ideology in the Swiss Imperial Confederation. Bulgaria, Mexico, Iran. I don't need Iran anymore. They have uh, accomplished their duty, so I'm gonna cancel boost popularity, and I'm gonna start to boost popularity, probably in Sweden. I'm already boosting it in Sweden. I'm already boosting it in Finland, Portugal. Why not Portugal? Portugal should join us in our glorious pan-European fascist party. Actually, Bulgaria should as well. Bulgaria should have joined us a long ass time ago. I'm gonna keep working on them until they join us. Now we're still slowly gaining political power, even though we're boosting ideology in like the entire world! Hey, if I can turn Ireland.
Ireland fascist, or is Ireland all no? Ireland, Ireland is already at war with us. A pity. Alright. For now, we've reached the end of the episode, so for now, I'll thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time, where most likely Moskva will fall. <laughs>